Hi y'all. Okay, so this video today is going to be about ancestral messages. What do my ancestors have to say to me? What do they want to tell me? What is the message that they want to give to me? Some of us are not knowledgeable about how to connect with our ancestors, so I will provide a link below to my ancestral connection video. I will be showing you in that video how to connect with your ancestors on a daily basis. It's very important to connect with them because they are our first line of communication into the spirit world. Okay, these messages may not resonate with everybody because I'm reading for a collective. If you want a personal reading, you can contact me at my email address and that will be a low as well. So, the way how this works is you're going to choose a pile. There's five piles here. You're going to choose that pile by using your intuition looking at the crystals that are up here it could be the shape of the crystals the size the color you can just choose um, strictly from using your intuition however you want to choose it go ahead and do so also the time stamps are going to be provided below okay so you can go ahead and fast forward at any time another thing is that you can choose two you can choose three you can sit through all of these okay Whatever does not resonate, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. I am reading for a collective. So there's going to be tons of messages in here that are for different people. If the names are going to be able to help you to choose, this is Labradorite. This is Black Tourmaline. This is Angelite. This is Opalite. And this is Shungite. Let's get into it. If you chose number one, what does you, what does your ancestors want to say to you? What do they want to say? Okay, number one, it looks like you were not able to receive victory in a certain situation. Okay, it looks like you weren't victorious in a situation where you may have put a lot into it. What your ancestor wants you to know is to see beyond your current situation, okay? Because you're a seer. You are somebody who is able to connect with their third eye and able to assess any situation beyond what people who have not opened up their third eye or people who have not tapped into themselves can see. So you're blessed with that. They are making mention of that. They want you to use that gift of connecting with your third eye and spirit and connecting with the universe. They want you to use that and apply it to your own life. You are not victorious in a situation because it wasn't for you. It was not of your highest good. And that is a wonderful thing to hear because if anything isn't of my highest good or of your highest good you should not want it because what they're telling you is that there's better for you you have the will of fortune so if you was so you weren't fortunate in that situation whatever it was but you're going to be fortunate in a new situation because you have a new beginning coming up if you have not already stepped into that energy in this new beginning you will receive recognition and reward for letting go whatever it was that you weren't victorious in. Whatever situation that did not serve you or whatever situation that did not pan out the way you wanted it to pan out, let it go because what's going to happen here is you're going to be gifted with a new and better situation. You may be a person in, 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 in your family or in whatever circle you're in that is able to see almost everything okay you're very connected with spirit very connected with the universe very connected with your third eye you may even be the black sheep of your family you may you may even be the person that tells the truth a little bit too much <laughs> okay because i'm getting the energy of you know, because people don't like when you go around telling the truth, okay? So that's what I picked up. Um, also, 
what your ancestors want to remind you of is the law of attraction, okay? If you're sitting in a vibration where you are disappointed about this thing that did not work out, if you're sitting in a vibration of regret, if you're in a woe is me vibration, then you're not going to be able to collect the reward that spirit has for you, that your higher power has for you. Okay, send out loving vibrations, send out appreciative vibrations because that's going to help you to be better able to attract the gift that they have for you. If you put out a negative vibration of regret, you're going to attract that into your life and that is not what you want to do, okay? So they just want to remind you, listen, this didn't work out, but we have something better for you. Stay grateful. Stay positive. Keep connecting with your third eye. And keep getting rid of anything that does not serve you, okay? That's the energy that I'm getting. Let's see what else. inner wisdom okay sacred space create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine okay so like i said my link to how to create an altar to connect with your ancestors is going to be below but what your ancestors want you to do is to connect with a, with a higher power, whoever that may be for you, okay? And create an altar. Also, you can go out in nature. That's another way to connect with the higher power. Look, so you got the card of high priestess. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual healing. So what did I say? You're very connected with spirit and very connected with your third eye. This ancestor may also be a female, this particular ancestor for some of you, okay? But you are a high priestess. You have, you know things that you don't have no business knowing. <laughs> you can see things that you don't have no business seeing, okay? Because you are connected. That's beautiful, okay? Number one, I hope that helped. Thank you. For those of you that chose number two, Black Tourmaline, what does your ancestor want you to know? What messages do your ancestors have for you? Your ancestors want you to grow within your situation. Okay, be wise like the owl. Take a look around. What is going on right now? Why is this happening? There's going to be some things, okay? There's going to be some, some secrets that come out. Th this could be secrets of the universe, okay? There's going to be a lot of things that's going to be revealed to you that you had no idea about okay you're going through an awakening you are awakening your crown chakra which is located at the top of your head is going to be receiving so many messages from spirit so many messages from your ancestors and so many messages from the universe but it's not going to be easy okay this is not going to be easy because this may cause you to release a lot of things and a lot of people. <laughs> Awakening is a blessing, but in while you're sitting in your current situation, it could feel like a curse. 
because everything will fall apart around you because you're not vibrating on that level anymore, okay? You may have a spouse that you need to let go of. You may have family members that you need to let go of. You may have eating parent, eating patterns that you need to let go of. Friends, belief, old belief systems that you're going to let go of because what's happening here is you're you're awakening you're receiving you're going to be if you have not already because you may be anywhere at any point in this energy okay you're going to be seeing things that you may not want to see but it's for your own good okay be open to any messages that you receive okay even in your dreams You will be receiving divine messages that's going to cause you to realize a lot of things and it's going to be hard. But this situation is for your own good. This is going to cause you to grow. It's like spiritual boot camp. Your, the higher power, the universe, your ancestors are saying, listen, we're, we're going to bombard you with a whole bunch of information. Just wait on it, okay? Just wait on it. And the information that you receive is going to blow your mind. And it's going to cause you to stop dealing with people, places, and things that you have done before. It's going to have you to stop believing in things that you've believed in ever since you were a child. It's going to stop patterns and cycles that you have been involved in and participating in all your life and it's going to be hard and that's what awakening is that is what awakening is so you're playing a waiting game right now and they want you to know that it's going to take a minute for you to receive all these messages and this to me is the first step into awakening Okay, this is the first thing you get bombarded with all types of information and you start looking at your favorite cousin like, oh, you start looking at your favorite foods like, oh, you start looking at your friend and saying, damn, you, you ain't shit. I don't, I don't. You you look at your you are going to, to release a lot of things. Well, the point is for you to to release these things, okay? Because they don't serve you. But while you're sitting in this vibration, you're being called to grow within it. This is for your own good. This is to help you to grow. This is to help you to better yourself. You, you're going to find out a lot of things about people and places and foods and just things that you were involved in your whole life. You're going to want to let them go because you're going to be receiving so many messages. Okay. Clear your energy a lot. Sage, Palo Santo, spiritual baths. Um, if you're interested in a cleansing spiritual bath you can hit me up at my email below okay your 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 head your crown chakra will need it to be cleansed a lot you can take the sage and go counterclockwise above above the the aura around your head use florida water Rub it on your head, okay? Make it make this process easy. Make it easy for you to receive this information. A lot of the times when you find something out, the shock of it shakes you to your core. Stand stand your ground, okay? Because this is for your growth. You're going to you're going to hear a lot of things. You're going to realize a lot of things. And, you know, the realization you may even go through a period of denial. But I hope by, by hearing this that you're going to be able to receive these messages. Be open to receive. That's what your ancestor wants you to know. Grow within these messages that you receive. Grow 
within these things that you find out open your mind because they're going to they're going to be sending you all types of messages, realizations, eureka, aha moments, all of that. Okay? Again, number 1 got this. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. My, like I said, my ancestor video, how to connect with your ancestors. We're going to be setting up an altar for them in that video. Okay. That link will be below. Whatever place is sacred to you. A lot of the times spiritual people go in nature. Okay, the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to bring great love to you. What this, what this is telling me is because you've been seeking truth or because you've been sending out vibrations of love to the universe, they're showing their love back to you by hitting you with all these things that you did not know, by giving you all this information, by awakening you, so you can move on to better, okay? Your heart has propelled the universe to deliver great love to you, and great love is truth. Great love is seeing things for who they for what they are and seeing people for who they are great love is the divine opening you as a channel for messages to awaken you okay so this was beautiful and i hope that it resonated thank you number two so number three if you chose angelite what message do your ancestors want to deliver to you what do they have to say? Hmm. So there was... Hmm. In this situation, your ancestors want you to connect with your emotions. Okay? Connect with your emotions. What are, what are you feeling? Why do you feel that way? One of the feelings that I'm picking up for you is discontent and boredom. You're, so, you're in a situation in your life that does not excite you anymore, that you feel like uh, you may not be able to grow within. And, and, I, and this lets me know you've been working on that situation. This is something you've been working on. But it doesn't seem to me as if this situation is working out. Okay. Follow the path of your soul. These two ancestral messages came out. And for some of you, there's a God, there's a there's an there's two ancestors, okay? And they may have been in a relationship with each other. This may be your great grandmother, your grand your great grandfather, or your great aunt and your great uncle, okay? For some of you. Okay, what they're saying is that what they're saying is that because you got the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, okay? You see these people? They're saying that your relationship mirrors their relationship for some of you. Okay, for some of you guys, you're bored in your relationship or at, at, at or at a point in your life at any some sort of relationship in your life. Okay, but this is a, definitely a partnership. Okay, that you're not sure. 
fits you anymore because you're bored in it and you don't feel contented okay you may have been you you have been working on this situation anyway they want you to follow the voice of your soul you're you you are very sensitive, first of all, to emotions. You may be an empath. Okay? They want you to figure out, do I want to be here? Is this, my, is this something that serves me? For a lot of you, they're, they're saying it doesn't. But they want you to figure that out, okay? Also, I'm picking up empath vibes here. If you're if you're an empath, meaning, you know, you're very, very sensitive. They want you to know that being sensitive is not a curse. Being sensitive is a gift and... They want you to discern which emotions are yours and which emotions are that of someone else's. If you are in a partnership or any type of family situation, okay, where the other person's needs are being put first or their wants are being put first and you're in this relationship and working on it only because of that, you're being called to follow your own emotions follow your own soul follow your own path if this situation does not serve you anymore then follow your intuition follow how you feel how does this how does this situation make you feel how does this relationship make you feel are you working on it just because Do you feel like there needs to be more work put into it? You're being called by your ancestors to sift through your emotions. Find out which are that of yours and that of others. Okay? If you're not content in a situation, then it may be best for you to let it go. Follow your own soul. Follow your own emotions. If this is not for you anymore, let it go. But you're being called to stand in your truth, okay? Stand in your truth. Do I want to be here? How is this person making me feel? How does this relationship make me feel? Is it worth working on? Okay. That's what they want you to explore. Your feelings. They want you to explore your calling. Maybe you, you know, people come into our lives for a reason. Not everybody is meant to stay. Okay. I'm getting soulmate vibes from this from this message and what i mean by soulmate is a soulmate is someone who is here to teach you a lesson to help your soul grow okay and when they're done teaching you that lesson it is then time to release them if you don't you may experience feelings of discontent and boredom if you don't you may experience feelings of regret or you may just be stuck in a situation that you don't want to be in because when it's time to release soulmates then you should let them go once you've learned your lesson once you say oh, okay oh i know you was here to taught me never to deal with somebody like you again okay oh you were here to teach me strength you were here to teach me you know putting in the work okay if you put in the work and, it, and, it, and it's still not not working then i would say to follow your your heart okay to follow your emotions if you are not putting in enough work into it 
or the other party is not putting in enough work into it, you're being called to look into that. Assess your situation. Then assess your emotions. And then follow that, okay? That's what they want you to know. The love you have shared is eternal, regardless of the situation. Sorry, y'all. The love you have shared is eternal, regardless of the situation. So, re regardless of whether... You know, you stay in this situation or you walk away from this situation. They want you to know that this was real love. And this is all this also goes back to what I'm saying about a soulmate. With a soulmate, you incarnate, you know, into this life with this soulmate over and over again, okay? Until you learn your lesson. All right. Maybe even still after that, okay? Because there's always lessons to be learned. But what this tells me is that, listen, even if this doesn't work out, you guys love each other. But love yourself enough to follow your own heart, okay? So, that's the message for you guys, number three. I hope it resonated. I hope you could take something from that. Thank you. Okay. Number four. What messages do your ancestors have to deliver to you? What do they want to deliver to you? Okay. So your ancestors want to remind you to be fearless. Tap into your warrior spirit. Tap into the warrior within you. There's something that you're going through that is causing for you to have to defend yourself. And they want you to stand strong in it. They're also saying to trust your talents in, 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 in challenging times. Somebody's pet died. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Somebody's pet passed away. If it's you, let me know in the comments. Okay? But, um... This situation that you're going through that may be causing for you to defend yourself may be in a place of business, okay? It, it may be um, in school. It may be at home, all right? You may be a mom. You may be a mom or the situation may be with your mother, okay? But anyhow... They want, they're calling you to, to tap into your spiritual strength, okay? Because look, you got the card of spiritual strength. You also got the card of be fearless and stand strong, okay? So two cards referencing your strength and tapping into your strength. Referencing tapping into your strength, okay? That's what they, that's what your ancestors want you to do. Now they're also saying to trust in your talents, in changing times you may have lost your job you may be experiencing some type of change at school or at work okay but you're experience experiencing some type of change it may be with your mom it may be with your children I'm picking up that some of you are being treated unfairly at work or, or in school or at home. Some, some of you are being treated unfairly. They're asking that you stand up and make your opinions be heard. 
They're asking you to stand in your truth. And they want you to stand by. If you if you have submitted some type of project or put in some type of idea or whatever, they want you to understand that you are talented and to trust in your talents. Trust in whatever gift it is that you have. You may be embarking on a, something new and you may be receiving backlash for it. Okay. Go after what it is that you want and trust that you have the skills to do it. Okay. This is this is this is a confirmation that you are talented. They also want you to take the characteristics from the red fox, which is adapt adaptility, adaptation, adaptility. They're able to adapt to any and every situation. Okay. There's going to be a change that's that that I see happening, and they want you to stick to your talents, stick to whatever gift you have and stand strong in your truth and stand strong and be fearless and know that you're gifted and that you're a warrior, okay? So whatever this is, okay, whatever, whatever, wherever in life you are, wherever this is, this, this energy of change, this energy of maybe even being treated unfairly or maybe an idea being turned down or someone saying, you can't do that. Maybe even losing your job and, and, and being told something like you're not good enough. Or maybe even you feeling like you're not good enough. Whatever this is, they want you to trust in your talents and adapt to change. Okay, so this is not for me. They don't appreciate me. I'll go someplace else. But I am still talented. And I'm still strong. And my opinion still does matter. Okay, that's what they want you to know. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. Thank you, spirit. This goes back to what I was just saying, okay? Stand in your truth. I'm getting, like I said, I'm getting an energy of uh, feeling mistreated in some sort of way. Or feeling like, you know, you've done something right and to the best of your ability. And because, because you are talented. I feel like someone is telling you no unjustly or, you know, downgrading you or putting you down. Wh whatever that is, do not back down. Whatever situation it is, stand up for what you believe is right, okay? Respectfully. You don't got to punch nobody in the face. Respectfully. Okay? But you are talented. Tap into your strength and be a warrior. All right? So thanks, number four. On to number five, Shungite. What do your ancestors have to say to you, number five? What is it that... Mm, what is it that they want you to know? Okay, number five, you may be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You may be dealing with an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, but Aries 
energy very, very strong. The number four may be of importance to you. You are, your ancestors want you to, to protect and defend and stand up for yourself, okay? For some of you, some of you are being watched. Okay, some of you, somebody may be checking in on your social media or I'm getting an energy of, you know, maybe you being in a relationship or it could be your father or somebody is, is, is a little bit of a bully and kind of controlling a little bit. It could be, it could be in a partnership, it could be... You know, um, mom, dad, uncle, brother, male energy, a little, um, a lot, a lot of male energy, okay? Anyway, what your ancestors want you to do is to make plans and focus, create a firm foundation for yourself, make plans and focus. I just heard, so you don't need this person. I don't know who that resonates with. So you don't need this person, they said. Um, this, mm, this situation is causing for your thoughts to be unclear, it seems like. It seems like the energy of this person that I'm picking up is overbearing. Your ancestors want you to march to the beat of your own drum. Don't go around doing everything somebody tells you to do, okay? Or don't go being bossed around. Shield yourself. Defend yourself, okay? Make a plan and focus on how you're going to get out of this situation or how you're going to be able to be free. I don't know why I'm getting a feeling of being caged in being trapped a little bit not just what whoever whoever this is this particular thing is for this person is overbearing Okay, I feel like always down your back, always looking over your shoulder. And that's for some of you. For others of you, you're, you're being called to take control of your life, actually. Whatever this situation is, okay, the bottom line is that you're being called to take control of your own life. Okay, clear your thoughts. Meditation, meditation. You got the drum, okay? Put on some music, meditate. Also, you're going to be receiving messages if, if through music. If you're going through something at a particular point in time and a song comes on the radio, Listen, okay? Open your ears. Open your ears, especially when it comes to music. You can also use music to go into a meditative state, which will help you to clear your mind. But the drum is so significant in this reading. March to the beat of your own drum. Listen to music. We may have put messages in there. They're saying it. Listen to music to meditate because it's going to um, clear your mind. The things that you're going through, if this, if this is a particular person that you're dealing with, the things that you're going through with this person is causing for you to not be able to connect with yourself, with spirit. Your mind is foggy. I'm hearing... 
lost your zest for life. I'm hearing lost, lost your passion for life. Lost your focus. Lost, lost on what you want to be when you grow up. Why are you here? What your goals are. Take control of your life. Clear your mind. Meditate. And create a firm foundation for you and yours, okay? Again, I'm hearing, so you don't need this person. I don't know who that's for. If that's for you, put it in the comments below, please. Let's get some advice, okay? Hmm. Don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right, okay? So like I said, I'm getting bully energy. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Look at that. Ex at the bottom of the deck, express yourself through creative activities. I think that's where this music comes through, comes into play. Okay. Write some music. Poetry. Anything that you're doing artistic. It's going to help your, your, your energy flow. It's going to clear your mind. It's going to help you to release some of these things that this, this, this um, bullying presence may have caused. It's going to help your energy flow, okay? It's going to help clear up some things that the bullying presence may have caused. The effect that it may have caused on your mind, okay? Your future is going to be bright. If you make plans and focus, if you march to the beat of your own drum, if you don't back down from this overbearing presence, okay? For some of you, it's a downright bully. And for some of you, this person watches everything that you do. Okay, number five. I hope that helped you. Subscribe, like, comment, anything that you've gotten from this. And until next video, bye guys.